welcome to all so today we will learn about a lbm part so right now today we have a virtual machine this is a bmba workstation so here first we need to add a disk here so, so right now in this uh, operating system we don't have any disk here so we have only one disk here so let me show you ls blocks so we can see only one disk is here okay so so let let me add a one disk here so here we have only one disk and already we are using this one and here the naming convention is a nbme here okay so don't be, don't be confused here okay so here now the naming convention is coming here as like uh, so right now i'm using a bmbear workstation 16 pro so here uh, the naming convention has been changed here so don't be confused okay and these two are uh, your logical volume manager it's created and if you want to see logical volume manager you can see pbs physical volume state and the bgs and lvs so you can see this the, uh, let me do lb scan so these two lv created here okay so uh, this is a new machine so let's add a new disk here so let me right click here setting and uh, let me click on a add and i want hard disk drive and a SCSI. let me make a SCSI and create a new virtual disk here and uh, just let's see i want to give a 15 gb and allocate all disk space now or store virtual disk as a single file let me click on this option and uh, okay and with third bm3 bmdk uh, and let me finish it okay and uh, let me make a okay Okay, so earlier uh, uh, in uh, earlier lecture, we have used Oracle virtual machine. So there we don't have that facility. Here we have a facility. Okay, so there we need to shut down the machine and then we need to allocate a disk. But here live on a live, we can allocate a disk here. Now we have allocated here. Now let's check here. F disk hyphen L uh, let me graph hyphen I disk here. So you can see we don't have here disk here. Okay, only or let me show you LS block. So here you can see only one disk is here. Okay, so zero and uh, here uh, it is came as a 259 here. Major IDs came here 259 and uh, when we had used a Oracle virtual manager there, then it will came a eight for a SCSI. Okay, now now we need to scan the lens so let us suppose uh, right now we have allocated a new disk let's assume this disk as uh, this uh, lens allocated by a storage team how we can scan it we have a two things either we need to use a rescan um, we have a one script either we can use a rescan uh, res can was either we can use this command i am not using this command i will uh, i will scan it manually so let me use a echo it is your uh, your scuzzy host channel id learn id and these are the wild country and the sys class scuzzy host now you can see how many hosts we have a two host let me do scan here okay let me do enter and let me scan this this one okay so now we have scanned here okay so now let's check it ls block ls block now uh in ls block uh, i have scanned it but right now it's not came here okay so let me check f disk hyphen l so is it came here or not uh so it is not showing uh, okay so this is a command actually okay so right now we are using a vmware workstation if sub in some cases suppose if it's not coming don't worry but this command is correct here okay right now we are using a vmware workstation so that is a command you need to use used to scan it okay so either we can use a rescan bus bus so let me use this command now so now is it scanned in the ls block so now it is not show me here so let me use a part prop let me refresh the kernel table but uh, there is no logic to refresh it okay ls fuzzy so here uh, we can't able to see only one disk is showing here so last option if i'm not able to see anything so i need to reboot this server here So right now I'm using a 16 BMB 16 
16 Pro. So here, uh, let me add a disk again here. So I have created a clone new. So what we will do here, let me add and hard disk next. And here we select it. Uh, earlier we have selected SCSI, so it has been crashed. So select it same. Okay, so must be same. If we are follow the SCSI, then we need to follow SCSI or either we need to follow this one. So earlier uh, on OS, we are using this one. So I need to use this one next and uh, create a new virtual disk here or use existing. So I'm creating a new virtual disk here and the size is, uh, let me give a 15 and the store as, as a single file. Okay, so let me finish it and okay. And let me power on this virtual machine. So now, uh, so let me log in in this server here. Okay, so right now, let me check the IP here. So IP is a 129. So let's take a console of a 129. So here, 10 dot, sorry, it is a 192.168.101.129. And uh, P, uh, let me select the color, use the system color and appearance if you want to change the appearance. Okay, so let me make it 14. Okay, so is it 129 or uh, let me check cross check it again. Okay, this is your 101.129. Okay, 101. Yeah, it's connected and root and let me make it a one two three okay so now now we have attached a disk here so let's check a, a ls block so now you can see the new disk came here okay so okay so here we are follow the standard so here it is came here uh, and of this hyphen a if you can see, you can see this uh, here. You also can see this one disk and uh, another disk is here. It is a 15 GB and you can see LS SCSI also. So you can verify here. These are two disks is here. Okay. So <clears throat> if you want to attach a new disk, then we can scan it here. Uh, okay. Eco, uh, we can use a eco command. And uh, if you're attaching a new disk here and sys class scuzzy host host zero and scan so okay so we need to scan like that and we have a two home two hosts if you want you can see how many hosts are available here so just let me recap you just ls hyphen l let me make a, a ls hyphen l let me make a star so you can see only two host is there host zero and host one okay so now let's uh, now let's create a pv create let's create a pv so here uh ls kazi uh, ls kazi here and uh, let me create a pb pb create so first we are creating a physical volume let me create a vz create and vz create i need to give a busy name here so let me give a vz underscore data and um, here i want to add here so now you can see a pbs and you can see a bgs so one physical volume is here there is no lbm so let me create a lbm lb create and hyphen caps l and let me give a size here so it is let me give it 2 gb and uh, if if it's my personal choice i want to give a name then i can use a name or either it will choose automatically let me give a manual name of the lbm let me lb underscore data and uh, okay so here and from which uh, busy data i want to take it on uh, busy underscore data now we can see here pgs here one is came here earlier it was a zero now if we see lv scan you can see it uh, lv uh, lvm has been created let us uh, format it xfs dot uh, let's xfs i want to format it here now it is a format let me create a directory mkdir data data underscore one here and uh, i need to mount it in a permanent so let me mount it a permanent uh, fs tab and let me use a here and uh, uh, now where i want to mount it here under data and underscore one and after that uh, xfs and default zero okay so zero this zero means it is a dump backup and here it will repair your uh, file system and default here you will see re read only read write uh, 
uh, and uh, all the information here, uh, your SUID, uh, sync, uh, sync, uh, all this information came here under this one and Excel, this is your file system. Let me save it here, okay? Now I have saved it here. Now let me use a mount hyphen A option. Now you can see it is mounted here. Okay, so so suppose if you want to remove the file system, LB file system, so how we can remove it? So now it is opposite, okay? So first, what you need to do? You need to do how to remove a LBM, okay? So we will learn there. First, we need to unmount the file system. Let me unmount the file system. I have unmounted. Now, second step, we need to go inside ETCFS tab again. And uh, the best option, don't delete it, just just uh, here, comment here only, okay? Comment, so it is easy to recognize, okay? So I have commented here, now LB scan here. So you want to remove, then use a LB remove command, LB remove, and which LB you want here? Here, so uh, before that, let me show you LBS here. And uh, now LB remove, okay? A LB remove and here, okay? I have removed it, say, Okay, let me now check it LBS. Now it has been gone. Now check it BGS here. Okay, so we uh, BZ data. If you want to remove this BZ data, so you can use a BZ remove. For, for example, you want to remove BZ data also. The remove, you want to remove volume group, BZ remove, volume group remove. Let me remove the volume group. Okay, now you can see BGS. There is no volume group. Now you can see PBS. So here you have added here. If you want to add, if you want to remove physical disk also, then we need to use a pb remove and here okay now we can see pbs so like that we can add and remove here so these are opposite here so first if just uh, let me recap here when you are creating then you are using a pb create bz create lb create when are when you are going for a remove so lb remove bc remove pb remove okay opposite okay so here in the direction and here you will go in that direction 